Good morning, SHS. Today is Wednesday, September 8th. I'm Marbeth Taylor. And I'm Kayla Madison. And you're watching My, My morning, morning Jacket. Jacket. School pictures for students and faculty will be October 11th starting at 8 o'clock. Senior portraits will be October 25th through the 26th at 8.30. Makeup for senior portraits, faculty, and students will be November 28th at 8.30. The Startful Robotics team prepares for upcoming state competition September 30th. My Morning Jackets Joe Poole attended practice to give the Jacket Nation a closer look. The SHS robotics team is comprised of members from grades 6 to 12. In the robotics team, members are assigned jobs within certain criteria, such as marketing, spirit, booth, driving the robot, and building the robot. I've been in robotics for about three years now, and um, I've mostly been on the driving team. I've been a driver for two years, and my first year I just started off um, creating spirit and sportsmanship things like posters and whatnot and I also spent most of my time in the stands last year. The robotics team competes at state September 30th at the hump. If the robo jackets come in first at state they will be able to compete in regionals. Yeah our robotics is uh, really really great. It's um, it's a really great collaborative effort. I've been on the team for two years and it's it's just nice to be a part of something like this. This is Joe Poole reporting from My Morning Jacket Lane. The August-September ACT workshop has been rescheduled on October 14th and the 21st. The DAR-sponsored Christopher Columbus Essay Contest is accepting submissions. Deadline to submit to Ms. Sullivan in the main office is Monday, October 16th by 2 p.m. This is a national competition that awards a $1,200 national scholarship and cash prizes for second and third place. Essay guidelines and specifics are located on the front desk. Please see Ms. Tedder if you have further questions. The PSAT will be given at SHS October 11th. The cost is $16. To be eligible for the National Merit Scholarship Program, you must take the PSAT or NMSQT. Starkville High School PBIS would like to spotlight Ben Alexander and Kim Williams. PBIS would like to spotlight Ben Alexander and Kim Williams to highlight their hard work and dedication at Starkville High School. Ms. Williams is a veteran U.S. government teacher. I've been working here 21 years. Um, what I like about the job is SHS is in my blood because I went to school here. When I first started here working with teachers who taught me when I was a student here, so that was kind of odd. I'm beginning to teach classmates that I went to school with. I'm teaching their kids now. So that's kind of unique for me now since I've been teaching. Mr. Alexander is the assistant principal for the class of 2020. He began working at SHS in 2014. I'm a teacher for seven years uh, in the classroom. I taught U.S. history, uh, uh, AP U.S. history. I, I like, I actually like uh, having a little bit of camaraderie with the students in the hall. I don't, I don't have as much of that as I did as a teacher, but I, uh, I enjoy uh, a lot of the students, uh, getting to know them and kind of seeing how they progress as they move through their academic career. I'm Jasmine Baker, reporting with Fine Morning Jacket from the Jacket Nation. And now to Alyssa Burns for sports. Tennis tryouts will be Tuesday, September 12th and Thursday, September 14th at the SHS Tennis Courts from 4.15 to 6 o'clock. Please bring necessary paperwork. The volleyball team plays here Thursday against Madison Central. JV plays at 5 o'clock. Varsity plays at 6. Softball will play Grenada at home Thursday. Varsity begins at 4.30. One of the most competitive rivalries in the Jacket Nation is the football game with the West Point Greenway. Madeline Methvin was on site. In a traditional rivalry, 
For the past few decades, Starkville took on the West Point Green Wave at Hamblin Stadium. This goes back a long way. And this feels really, really bad when we're losing. Uh, back when I was in high school in the late 80s, it was a huge rivalry, and it, it's been that ever since. And we've always been in different classifications. But nevertheless, you don't lose to other people in the Golden Triangle, so this hurts. After a physical contest, the Jackets fell to the wave 28-3. I've been a part of a lot of rivalries over the years, but this is, has to be one of the uh, greatest and biggest ones that I've been a part of. So I'm really impressed and appreciate all the fans that have come out tonight. It's been really impressive supporting the team. The Jackets will take on the Columbus Falcons this Friday night at 7 p.m. at Yellow Jacket Stadium. Ninth grade of football travels to Grenada Thursday. Varsity plays Columbus at home Friday at 7. The swim team has a home meet Thursday starting at 4.45. Tryouts for the bowling team will be held September 7th. The bus will leave from the tennis courts at 2 p.m. For more information, call Coach Phil Lee. Bring completed physical and permission form. Catch us next time for the latest news in the Jacket Nation.